Quick little shameless plug before the video begins, I will be streaming live on Twitch if you guys want to watch it after the video, or maybe even right now, links will be in the description down below. But nonetheless, here's the video. Alright, hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we're here with another video, and this video is going to be just, you know, a little new with the mill, episode 2, season 2 kind of thing. Uh, basically, new with the mill was a series that I started whenever I had a really low level account with only one mill, and now I'm up to 1951 total level with a pretty decent bank. So, as far as this goes, I did take a few months break, and then I recently started back up the series. The total bank worth is 530 mil, and on top of that, since the ending of the last series, we've had a friend that has gotten a Tebow. Uh, we made pretty much a pact that if we get a Tebow, we'll allow each other to share it whenever we don't need it. So, some things I will be doing is I will be merching this Tebow, flipping this Tebow, and all things of the sort, making a little bit of money on the side. So, hopefully you guys enjoy. First rate of the video coming in, no loot here, 77 minutes. I did die once, you know, I mean, 77 case in your boy still sucks at raids, but I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, nothing else coming in for another raid. Died yet again. <sighs> All right, here we go. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, well, I'll, I'll talk about whenever I do investments and really what my logic is behind it because that's what this series is all about. It's what I do day to day. Uh, right now, basically today, they announced that Revenant Caves were getting a poll for uh, potential uniques coming to the table. And if those uniques have any precedent within the game, if they're anywhere near good, people are going to really want to go back out there. Ancient Crystals right now are so low. But yeah, so here we are, Ancient Crystals, up to 830K is what I could sell them for i bought them for a little over 700 so not bad already but if we look on a quarterly scale basically this is the price of them when revenants were actually good revenants get nerfed they fall down to 1.7 they get rebuffed they go back up close to 3.5 mil and then they get nerfed again and they have been dropping ever since now the main reason i think this is is not because people are getting them into the game at revs i think there was just so many in the game that once it got nerfed no one really wanted to use them anymore so it just ended up being a bunch of people dumping off the investments they had and as we can see apparently someone else thought the same thing because they invested and bought 190 so uh that's sick i don't know if that's like a ranging gloves type thing where someone knows something but uh yeah i mean it's a pretty obvious investment for the most part i think it kind of makes sense and that's what we're gonna go with for right now I'm, I'm not gonna put too much cash into them but i like where we're at and here folks is the downside of merching with this much money uh basically i, I tried buying two ellies overnight the price whenever i went to bed last night was around 588 mil and typically you can get this to buy but overnight they shot up to 595 whenever i saw that i was hoping they bought because i would have been able to make obviously like 10 mil per one which would have been sick um however obviously they didn't buy and during that same time the twisted bow went up six mil so instead of one one seven nine like i saw off my last one it is one one eight and five 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 so it's somewhere in there which i obviously don't i mean that's a six mil loss which is pretty significant now at this point there's typically two ways to go about this i can either wait and hope that it goes back down but you know i mean sometimes uh if it starts going back if it i mean if it continues to go up then we could be in some real trouble so <laughs> i think i'm just gonna buy it back and take a little bit of a loss here but that's all right and there we go first flip of the video coming in so uh all in all i started with 1.2 bill that means i made 1. you know 1.25 mil on that so there's the flip gonna go ahead and try another one that took me maybe like half an hour but obviously no work on my part there we go another merch coming and this one got us barely uh as much i made like a little over 500k on it i was a little scared actually the first time i've ever done this merch so uh if we look back basically the, the tebow flips i did earlier and then i saw there was a decent margin on actually buying ancestral and then selling it off as a set uh all in all basically i I ended up making close to 1.4 mil on this uh not too bad at all considering i mean it took a little bit of time but it was pretty easy all around and gave us a pretty decent merch there uh i have an ellie bought and i've been trying to sell it i tried to sell a little higher for close to a, a four mil profit but the price dropped a little bit so i'll go ahead and try to take two and uh yeah we'll see what we can do and pretty much as soon as i got done recording that last clip we got another one to sell so all in all up to a 5.7 mil profit so far uh as an idea it's 3 p.m right now so it's almost i mean it's a little over a mil per hour and i have been <laughs> and i've been barely doing anything so pretty nice stuff i'm gonna go ahead and just try to buy two ellies and we'll see what we can do all right there we go folks done with another raid did i get a drop that guy just died i did not see what kind of crystal we got he said woot did he get a drop did i i got a white thing oh man he got a deck scroll oh my god was that the dude that died who was that who was that oh no it's him 
Streamer luck. <laughs> okay, here we go. Another raid. Uh, that was a really slow raid. All right, here we go, guys. Another raid coming in. Anything? Any oh, arcane. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> eh. ah, elite clue, huh? I don't know what the drop rate of that is, but that, as far as GP value, that could be very, very easily one of the worst drops. All right, well, we just got given the 2.5 mil split on the Arcane Prayer Scroll. Honestly, didn't even know if we were splitting or not. Glad that we were this time, but I mean, it's not that great, but I'll take it. Here we go. So uh, I just got done, I guess, sleeping. I don't know. <laughs> so I, I had an overnight flip, pretty much what I'm trying to say. I sold off the Tebow for one bill, 195 mil almost. And I think I can make close to six mil on this, which is really nice. All right, here we go. So this is going to be a hunter level. I know I got three of them. I didn't record, like, I had to, I had to save myself a little bit to not show you guys this, but. 59 hunter pretty sick this means we have red sallies unlocked which means i can finally leave this hellhole man it's pretty fast xp but you just have to drop so much stuff because you can catch them so fast that you know kind of a grind all right guys here we go coming in with another kill we're going to close chat right here white we got whites all around all right no drop dang it dang it I, I barely got the recorder up in time but uh just in time enough to see that we did not get a damn thing all right here we are it's been a while since i've recorded my last clip it's currently 12 30 at night i am 64 hunter getting closer and closer to 67 which is when i can leave this place and move on to black sally's in the wilderness uh thinking maybe i'll try to grind it out right now i don't know we'll see what we can do basically if you all haven't watched it already i've been watching the new season of atlanta uh, i watched the first episode so whenever it came out now there's a few more out a uh, total of four so i'm gonna go ahead and watch those real quick and yeah i mean it should be about two hours we'll see we'll see where i get from there but yeah let's go see what i can do uh haven't done a whole lot of money making man i've just been so demotivated i mean it's, we haven't had that bad of a dry streak at raids but all in all my raids luck has been pretty bad i mean i'm 90 kc personally I mean, the best thing I've seen that we've split as a team, I've only ever been in on one Dex, and other than that, we haven't had it. I've never seen or been a part of a drop over 20 mil. By the way, before anyone tells me, I know to drop these. They are very heavy. If any of you guys ever hunt salamanders, these things are insanely heavy, so uh, whenever you get them, just drop them, or else your run energy is just going to deter. I mean, it is, it's bad. There we go. Missed it every time. But uh, another task done. Went ahead and did this t pretty much the entire next task. I came back for a couple kills during class. Did it all using chinchambas which surprisingly was actually really good so uh by by this time i'll have the video out but you guys should check that out that was just i mean surprising all the way around per usual time for another task first time ever killing adam and dragons all right well we'll see how this goes shouldn't be too bad it's only six i may have died trying to finish off that task we have a task of barrows brothers coming in i don't do this a whole lot uh, cause I'm a main account, you know, not really my style. We'll go with all of them though. Why not? A little bit of content that I don't normally do. Time for another assignment. 225 abyssal demons. All right. Well, this allows us to do something. I may get a T-bow off my friend and maybe do a little bit of sire. I've never really tried the bow sire meta. So we'll check that out. And maybe I'll actually do a comparison video on that. Cause that is, that's something else. All right. So my mic was just muted, but I went ahead and got 83 prayer. Uh, I got 82 in class. Obviously I can't record really anything that I have going on in class. Typically I'll just look back on what I gained. So I got two levels with that. I haven't done a whole lot of skilling or really anything lately. Here we are last level little bad boy of these that I gotta catch up to 67 hunter and that should be black salamanders it is indeed so your boy will be traveling on over to the wilderness patiently waiting for brawler gloves to be released so then I can finally do hunter again all right so now what I am going to do well I'll go over this merch real quick basically ancient crystals I bought for 700k about a week maybe a little over a week ago when the rev stuff was being talked about on reddit they uh, ended up going up 170k each for a little bit of profit so I made some good money here they were at one point down a little bit so I did have loss at one point and then it continued to go up which was nice I sold off mostly because I mean I was pretty happy with where they were at and I, I didn't want to see them fall again here we are so decided to go and sell off the dragon fire ward and the crossbow basically made a ton of money on those since I've gotten those I get I mean they've been in the bank value this entire time so we haven't profited much but I did go ahead and flip a few dragon hunter crossbows here as you'll see on this flip here I made a good 600k and then on this flip I made another 700k figured I'd try to make a little bit of money since they've been going up recently and if I have to have nothing but cash for a day's time I'll probably need a little bit more money to buy it and here we are back with another task I have a t-bow in the grand exchange and I'll go over that here in a second but let's see what we can do uh 
157 smoke devils that's a cancel your boys got the pet not gonna do that again so my friend let me a t-bow earlier what i went ahead and did was i sold it for the price that it was at the time i bought it back 2.3 mil lower and tried to resell it uh it's actually dropped 12 mil which doesn't really matter for me a ton because uh i have to give them back a bow and this is a bow thus it doesn't matter had i sold this and then bought it back later obviously could have made 14 mil uh off of its drop but you know, you know that's all right that's all right all right, what is going on? So I've been doing a little bit of Zora slash Vorkath lately. I've been, I've just been enjoying it. I did a little bit on stream last night, and it, I mean, it was rough at Vorkath. I was trying to learn the Wooks walk, and <laughs> it didn't go all too well. Uh, as far as my Vorkath tab goes, it's not going to show the value apparently. But this is, yeah, it's, I mean, we can see it's over 160 kills worth, and in total, the tab's like 22 mil ish. Now there are some things that if I do get them from Zora, I haven't done a ton of Zora kills. I've only done like maybe 20 or 30 since this video started but going forward i think i might just make a combined loot tab for zora and warcath because magic seeds overlap grapes overlap death runes chaos runes magic logs i think those are the only five uh i mean also seeds like this overlap as well but typically a lot smaller uh in comparison to where the real loot is so here we are back again i have some magic seeds now on this account i'm one level off i honestly should probably just go get 75 but my friend has higher than 75 farming so i use his account to plant all of these Basically, what I'm going to do is turn these seeds into saplings. It is honestly really, really quick, and I'll show you guys how much money I'm about to make. I bought these yesterday, and I bought the 120 in the span of like 30 minutes. I kept the offer in, hoping that, you know, the price would jump back down. It didn't at all. Uh, as far as what I could sell these for, though, 209k a pop right now. So that's an 8k profit per one. Uh, all in all, obviously coming in close to a mil. So time to see how long now it actually takes me to do this because it's just going to be quick, man. As far as an entire inventory goes, it's not too hard to explain. All you're going to want to do is just have the best clicks you can to be able to put as many seeds in here as you want. So mouse keys, if you have them and don't feel sketchy using them, obviously going to be better than just clicking like I'm doing. Uh, but then basically what happens is once you finish off a full inventory, just go ahead, use humidify. These will all be then watered saplings and then they'll grow in your bank. So that's an entire inventory done in as little as that amount of time. I mean, 30 seconds. Getting the magic saplings back, a good little one mil profit and what was just a little over two minutes of actually, you know, putting them together. So obviously it did take extra time to buy and stuff like that. But really, I mean, that was all just passive that I did. I, you know, I just kept an offer in for a while and got some. It was pretty easy. I mean, <laughs> all in all. Uh, not too much off my back rare woodcutting level coming in here basically I don't do woodcutting a lot because I've already done it on my hardcore and I'm not very I just don't find it enjoyable a rare level but I will be looking to afk this more in the future there we go though another raid coming in 100k points not too bad good time on the raid too all, all in all pretty happy with it uh, but we haven't had we haven't had loot here in a while man and anything no no of course not you know lucky been AFK and a little bit of wood cutting today, both at school and at home, now hit 74. Uh, got that in class, so couldn't record it. Also, uh, in class, got 150 mil XP. So, uh, a lot of stuff coming in there, I guess. 150 mil XP is pretty cool, though. I mean, a milestone like that obviously won't hit until 200 mil, so quite a ways away. But, I think I'm going to go ahead and do some raids and maybe some Vorkath and uh, see what we can do. <laughs> All right, well, shit, I, uh, I wasn't expecting a whole lot of Warcath, never really thought I'd get anything, but I guess, I guess this kind of counts. <laughs> nice little one mil drop coming in, one and one K, got it, 291 KC, it's all right, you know, we'll take the extra mil, but, eh, eh. I mean, it's cool, it's cool, don't get me wrong, but Warcath doesn't have a lot of rare drops, so to hit one, really nice. All right, do we get anything purple? White. Bunch of whites. Yep, no loot then. Rip. I gotta get over here, get a good look at it. White. GG's, GG's. <laughs> Another one down. All right, so, white. Everyone gets white. White for everyone. <laughs> Shit, man. Close chat. Here we go, 100th raid coming in, boys. Get the badoodle going. White, rip. Damn it, God. Another raid, another, <laughs> another miss chest. Oh my God, I was pulling up my recorder, man. Oh. Ugh. So I died as soon as the raid ended. Luckily enough, the points didn't take away before the loot, but oh my gosh, man, that was sick. That was sick. All right, well, no music. Start recording, turn the trade off. Any what? Purple, 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 purple. Okay, we weren't closing chat apparently. No, no loot, no loot. No music, record, there we go. 
All right, didn't die, didn't die. Good, 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 good. <laughs> All right, well, this raid's been pretty rough. We're, we only have 65k points. We had a guy die, well, we had two guys die, one of them being me as well. Oh, and of course we get a loot this raid. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Of course. <laughs> it is an arcane prayer scroll, though. <laughs> God damn, man. God damn. And that's going to be it, folks. I guess we'll end it on the arcane prayer scroll. I know, I know. Probably not what we all wanted to see, man. I've seen like three or four arcanes to the one decks I've seen, and it hurts so bad. As far as what I did this episode, scaling-wise, I didn't do a ton. Um, you'll notice that. I'm not I'm not one that likes to scale, but I'll do it every now and then when I see fit. Going forward, I really want to get up my smithing, and obviously runecrafting is something, you know, I just won't even talk about. Got up some woodcutting this video, along with Hunter as well, and Prayer, which is where I think most of my money is gone so we'll take a look at the bank now the total bank value is 625 mil that's up a lot from last video but since last video one of my homies in my cc has lent me full armadillo so i have to take that out of consideration now in total it says 625.5 here obviously if i put it in it doesn't change os buddy's just been messing up a lot lately but yeah 625 mil if we subtract how much this all is worth which is 74 mil that comes out to a 551 mil bank which means this episode we've gained somewhere around the lines of 25 mil in bank value Value, not as high as I'd like it to be. Granted, we weren't that lucky at raids. Raids are really going to lift a bank value or just keep it kind of the same for a little while. On top of that, one thing I've noticed is that it just doesn't account for the price of a Trident Swamp E. So while it is 550 mil, if you want to add that 15 mil, you can if you want. Really, I'm just trying to make my bank look as valuable as it possibly can. So, all in all, I mean, if you include the staff and whatnot, we're probably close to 570 mil, although we've had the staff the entire time. So, we didn't really profit that this video. But, that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. On top of that, as I said earlier, streaming after the video goes live, so feel free to hit it up. If you have anything you want to tell me, or, any, I mean, you know, it's just anything that's on your mind, feel free to comment it down below. But, yeah, with that said, though, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and, uh... Peace. Peace.